it's Caroline here from Useful Graphic Design Tutorials and in today's videos we're going to show you how to size your image correctly. Now I believe that several people have had some challenges with this because they've contacted us and of course there may be many more who haven't contacted us but have uh, some issues with this but don't realize what's going on. So we thought we'd try and make this even simpler in the explanation. Okay, so there are a couple of ways to set the dimensions of your image. So let's do the first way. Going up to File, clicking on New, and then you have a lot of options of preset sizes that you can choose. Let's choose the icon 64 by 64. That's quite a common one. It does open in a new document. That's fine. So now you've got 64 by 64 pixels workspace here. Just to show you a little bit further what we mean, if we create the rectangle and hold the mouse down and drag across that and then click on select you will see here up in the toolbar the width is 64 by 64 which is exactly the preset that we selected so that's one way of doing that okay let's get rid of that for the moment here's the second way where you can actually put in your own measurements so we've opened up a document we go up to file and then document properties and this dialog box opens up. And in the custom size here, we're going to put in our own 500 pixels by 150 pixels. And the image changes as you do that. By the way, here are some of the other presets that we were just showing you. Okay, click that. And now we've got our 500 by 150. Now, to be able to work much easier with that, we suggest that you magnify it. Click on the magnifying tool and then zoom up to the degree which is comfortable for you. Don't forget to click off the zoom tool. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. Go to the Create Rectangles and Squares, hold down your mouse and drag across. Okay, so now you've got something on the shape that you, uh, on the template if you like, that you want. Go up to the Select and Transform and you can see again in the same place the width is 500 nearest damn it and the height is 150 which is exactly what you want. Now let's just say you put some text on there, let's do the old newsletter one, okay and select that and pop it in the middle here like that and then you um, you think to yourself, okay, I want to make that slightly smaller. Okay, let's do that. Okay, let's select this yellow outer. You see, by doing that, what you've actually done is change the size of the image to 390 width by 112 width. And if you change it in that way, then when you go to put it onto the top of your header of your blog or whatever, it isn't going to fit properly. So let's just go back and do move and do scale. Okay. The thing to do if you want to reduce that is just reduce the magnification. Because if you if you uh, if you change the parameters of it, then as I say, it is not going to fit in your head or wherever it is that you want it to be. What you could do is to click on the lock here and as the little note says when locked to change both width and height by the same proportion it still doesn't mean that you know you can actually change this oops let's let's do that it just means it does in proportion you still shouldn't change the size there having once set the parameters of what you want okay well i hope that's helped to clarify that little bit, the implications of setting up your size and then changing it using the handles down here. Uh, but if you do have any questions about that, please do let us know. 
you can leave them on our Facebook fan page wall. That would be a great thing to do because then everybody can learn from them. And the details of the fan page are on the page now. But that's the end of this quick short video and we we'll look forward to seeing you next time.